Hello, greetings, my friends. This is Gilles Mancillon. I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday for me moving very close to the, the, this really this point of freedom and we are awakening to freedom, to, to this, um, to this unity with love, which is already happening. It's already has happened. It's just, uh, it's just the lower mind, uh, is, is the, the ego, the lower mind is like a lobbyist is trying to, to find every possible way to convince us to wait, to create delays, to, 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 to doubt, to judge ourselves, to, it, it's got a whole bag of tricks that will prevent us from discovering that, that, that unity of love, that, that truth of freedom. For you are the Christos, you are the Sophia, you are that second coming of Christ. Christ. It's coming through all the hearts of all the awakening community, for that doesn't mean that um Sananda, Joshua will, will not choose to manifest at some point through one or more bodies in different parts of the world to, to, to coordinate the, the function. But for now, it, it is through the inner, through the heart that the Christos is awakening. So repeat to yourself, I am the Christos, I am the Sophia, I am the one. And so, uh, <clears throat> for the I am, it's really the most powerful thing, most powerful connection you can ever make is to the I am. You want to do that more than once a day. Call on your glorious I am presence. For everything that you receive from the I am presence will be, is yours eternally, and will, you will take it with you. Like it, it, there is a lot of teaching that pr that do not go there, and, and but that may be just the passing understanding and, and ups and downs. But, but what is connecting us to the source, to the great I am, is really for there is only one great I am. But this is a pre-personal spirit a fragment of that which is all that is it's unlimited presence is a personal gift that we receive here and so call on beloved i am presence i i am grateful for feeling my, please fill my body with light and love and and and, and let your, your your wisdom um act in all my deeds uh, and that all your, your love light and wisdom uh, prevail in on all my activities and all the circumstances of my life do that more than once a day and think about connecting to the i am presence when you connect to the i am presence and you ask you can ask for things the i am presence god you can you can pray you can ask for anything you want um, but put more energy in the connection to God than on the thing, uh, because it's like God knows what you want, what you need. So it's like, but it's the connection. If, if there is more, more energy given to the thing and the, what is wanted than the connection, it will, it will not happen. So just put first the connection to, to the creator, to the source. Just open your heart. It is you, you are the, we are, we are in the heart of creation. We are the heart of God. And, and, and this planet will become the heart of God. Everybody will live within this heart of love that is the, the, the great shift that is coming for we are the glory of the light stream uh, of the eternal light stream the the, the 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 heart of the god i am so it's like come move into union with your heart and then the, then from there uh, you will see that uh, the, you are the heart of hearts is is you in the heart of the center of creation for all concepts uh, and all concepts of separation from from love will vanish and they are illusions they've never really existed but we made them real for a time so for the illusion uh, the, the illusion of time is we will end when that will end it will end forever the consciousness will be eternally free and um, so, uh, but we can pretend the clock is still ticking and we can pretend we can, we can allow, give us as long as we want and time is eternal as well. We can let it flow for eternity or end it now. And then we move into this timeless moment of now. And so, um, we'll pull a few cards. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. If you, if you, if you like those videos, like those messages, thank you for your donations. And, uh, and if you want a private session, you can send me an email. So only go with what resonates with you. Of course, if my message does not resonate with you, tune in to another channel, <laughs> don't waste your time. But um, I'm just offering tools, but those tools are, they, they will come to, to understand that this law of one is, is what we're really we're moving. It's like coming from the future back to, to, to this time in order to, 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 to keep the portal open for, for all of humanity to follow. And huh? that's what we do as light workers. We keep a portal open, or we do whatever we're called to do. But, um, for the past is optimism, the present is accomplishment, and the future is a judgment, a divine judgment. What we are working on now is the elevation. We allow ourselves to be elevated, and we're going to move into a greater level of unity. For this unity, from unity, with everything changed. We cannot wait for the government to change. To, otherwise, we'll wait a very long time to, to say, well, we're free and change, make the change of freedom. To choose love and freedom from within right now. And from there, everything will, will follow. Um, 
for we it's important to let go of the attachment that we have to the physical body for for to, to know that we are consciousness that is able to take form we need to align our mental emotional our physical and our astral bodies the four lower bodies to access the ethereal body and the light bodies for the light body is really who we are and this light body is manifesting this physical body but put more attention on your light form and know that you are manifesting this physical body and then you can once we the connection is made between the light body and the physical body. We will be able to disengage the physical, to move totally into the, the light body and do all kinds of things and then return into physical plasmic form when we need. And for that will be quite wonderful. <clears throat> for... Um, So yeah, well, I know that that's very important to, to really connect to this I am presence and to, 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 to for, for the I am presence, I have a very deep relationship with my I am presence. Sometimes it talks to me, sometimes it shows me things, sometimes it explains to me things, sometimes it communes, it even came down from heaven many times and it's like, well, I want to come with you, don't leave me down here. <laughs> but, uh, but I know it is, kind of, I cannot question the, the wisdom of spirit and the process and the past and so forth. It is an unlimited spirit. And um, and uh, yeah, so that I already discussed that. Uh for, for letting go is a demonstration of trust, uh, trust in life and trust in the universe. Letting go of all that is old and antiquated and, and, and out of date uh, in order to leave space for the new to come. Um, for spirituality is, is really uh, is really something that mix well with everything. When you, you discover this truth, you claim your truth, you become spiritual. You will be able to. You, you can, we can mix it with art, science, philosophy, religion. Um, politics, uh, social, uh, anything, it fits within everything, it, it, it's like uh, it mixes with everything, it's part of everything already, it's just we upgrading our vision, lifestyle, nutrition, whatever. For the desires that we have are good and they are called the soul, we, we have de deciphered from the desire that come from the soul, it's like deep desires that keep coming back and the, the childish desires of the ego, those things are like craving and things like that, those are not really that important, not pay attention too much to those, but, but the deep desires of the soul are important to fulfill because in the past there were people that were interested in in spirituality, they would go into mortifying the physical body, go into like, and, but then they would they would arrive at the end of their life in front of the karmic board and it's like, yes, so what is your soul? You completely neglected your soul there. It's like so. So just uh, balance things out. Um, it's important to balance things out, and. Um, for we are the heart of something that is so much bigger than anything we can comprehend, bigger than the manifestation we're seeking. We are the heart of, of, of galactic uh, sh transformation, planetary shift and a galactic and universal shift of uh, unprecedented proportion. So it is, uh, we, we just do what you just relax about it, no need to... To, to make a big deal out of it, but to, we, we're participating with this ascension in something that is uh, utterly beyond us, and we, we're instrumental in assisting uh, not just the, the human population we here to, but also the, the company of heaven. We they need they need beings on the, on the ground that 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 are able to to connect to this this light and anchor this light and. And to inform them as well on the night or we go and inform them of we assisting them in what in, in their own work. Huh? So just know that we have this, this this connection behind the veil as well in that happens during the nights. For we need to balance the polarities. We live in a world that's extremely polarized, but that's why evolution goes so fast. And we chose to create all those dramas to find the freedom at the end. To let go of judgment and fear. For we we've experienced it all, we've done it all, so we can go of fear and judgment. And uh, so, um, because we're on the leading edge of ascension, we are the leaders uh, and accept to, uh, the fact that we accept to process fears and darkness for, that come from within that any, can come from all kinds of places, uh, those darkness and fear uh, and to choose love regardless is this very, very powerful to make love dominant within our life, regardless of what we have to, to endure. Because uh, on, on doing that, we're letting go of all kinds of astral influences without even need to being aware of them. They just uh, they, they just vanish from our experience. The, the fear um, for the challenge is the catalyst of the shift, uh, uh, and so um, so. Uh, 
for the awareness of that transformation of that shift is the call. Huh? It is the call that was called, and our guide, the, our guides created that that call for us to remember we came here for that, and then they, they retreat, retreated and she just allow us to make our choices. For the universe is made of sound, of light, of energy, of, of colors, and we descended through the through the through the frequency into the physical realm, and now we. We need to retraverse, which is a more, very delicate to travel the mental, emotional planes of the astral, astral planes. <coughs> but uh, it was part of the process we knew we were going to go through when we descended into form. Because we're here down here, we only have a half spectrum light. We don't, we don't have the whole spectrum of light, the polychromatic light of uh, the metatronic light. So we, as as we return and, and start to to vibrate on on the on the more ethereal, more light light of frequency of the lower fifths, mid fifths, higher fifths, lower sixths, dimension, whatever. We, we are reintegrating those 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 vibration, those frequency of the f until we reach the, the full spectrum lighting of our Father, Mother, God, the metatronic light. Well, I hope um, this message was interesting for you. Did I pull some cards there? No, I don't think I pulled some cards. If I did, I'll do it again. So, um, for the highest wisdom for today is faithful heart. It's to, to remain true to yourself and faithful to love. What you need to understand is what's not for you. All the things that are not for you are not for you. Just let them go. What's meant for you will be given at the right time. The, what, what we need to do is my card of the day was the message of the, in the bottle is to follow the sign and to listen, to pay attention to what life is telling you and, and, to, and to dismiss some of the negative messages that you may receive, to dismiss them, not to empower them, not to spend more time in the negative, uh, the negative energy that comes in, post more time in the positive energy, choose love and forgiveness. And the outcome is going to be young. It's going to be a very powerful time for action that is coming, that is ahead, the, the manifestation of the divine will to to really uh, you can connect to it. Of course, the ascended masters and the archangels, they will assist in, uh, in this, uh, in this, um, in this empowerment, continue to do this. I'm just offering an angle, facet, tools, and, and trying to, to offer different, but, but the, the I am presence remains the, 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 the key, the objective. This is my primary desire is to become one with my I am presence. I know everything else will follow. It's a, it's a passport to paradise. Um, so I'm going to sing a song to finish. I hope you're having a good Sunday. Um, it's a song that went through my head, a song of David Bowie. It goes like this. We passed upon the stairs. We spoke of what and when. Although I wasn't there, he said I was his friend. Which came as a surprise I spoke into his eyes I thought you died alone A long, long time ago Who knows? Not me We never lost control Your face to face With the man who sold the world I laughed and shook his hand and made my way back home. I searched for form and land. For years and years I roamed. I gazed a gazeless stare. We walked a million hills. I thought you died alone a long, long time ago. Who knows, not me, I never lost control. Your face, to face, with the man who sold the world. La chanson, great song from David Bowie, I think it was Station to Station. Well, the most cosmic of all the rock and roll is a very cosmic, cosmic person. We send greetings to him and, and all, all the, for all beings that ever departed, that ever lived on the earth, departed, are all, are still waiting up there in the, in, 
waiting for us to return. For the card of the day is a great card of celebration. Although in France it was like about letting go of the worry, here it is about preparing for celebration. It's this magnificent card of intimacy, the three of Raphael. You have so many reasons to party. Community of friends. Good news about the relation of children. For here, they're like the mermaids and these great big boats. They're going to be able to travel across the sea to that go into adventure. It's a kind of intimacy, of sharing, of celebration, of cultivating love. So be ready for the celebration and, um, and create this point of freedom and unity right now, today, here. And not, not even being uh, so, 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 so concerned with the manifestation of that, just hold the frequency and just as, as we find comfort, comfort within this frequency of calm, of peace, of wellness, of harmony, of joy, of freedom inside of us, the, 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 the manifestation will, will, we won't be long in coming. And thank you very much. Wish you a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later. Namaste.